Hi everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you all for your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs and YouTube videos. We are now on iTunes with our podcasts of all the shows and news. Below there is a link. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. And remember to click the notification bell in the corner so you don't miss out on any uploads. This week, Formula One has selected AWS as official cloud and machine learning provider. Formula One will work with AWS to enhance its race strategies, data tracking systems and digital broadcasts through a wide variety of AWS services, including Amazon SageMaker, a fully managed machine learning service that enables everyday developers and scientists to easily build and deploy machine learning models. AWS Lambda, AWS's pioneering event-driven serverless computing service, and AWS Analytics services to uncover the never-before-seen metrics that will change the way fans and teams enjoy, experience, and participate in racing. Pete Samara, Director of Innovation and Digital Technology at Formula One said, for our needs, AWS outperforms all other cloud providers in speed, scalability, reliability, global reach, partner community and breadth and depth of cloud services available. This week saw Salesforce thrive as the software as a service market booms. While enterprise software leaders like ServiceNow, Buzan, Paycom and Ultimate Software have come under selling pressure of late, Salesforce has shown resilience. Salesforce is widely regarded as one of the leaders in cloud computing and software as a service or SaaS and has one of the most consistent track records of growth out there. With a market capitalization of around 100 billion US dollars, the company had been able to churn out 25% plus earnings and sales growth for several quarters in a row. SaaS is the largest segment of the cloud market. According to tech research firm Gartner, sales are expected to rise 22% this year to 73.6 billion US dollars. Gartner expects SaaS spending to reach 45% of total application software spending by 2021. This week sees artificial intelligence cyber doctor doing better than human GPs on tests. AI company Babylon, which is already working with the UK's National Health Service or the NHS, claimed its chatbot scored higher marks than real live doctors in robust tests. Slightly worrying. The British firm said it quizzed the AI using example questions for training exams set by Britain's Royal College of General Practitioners or the RCGP, the professional body for family doctors. The programmed chatbot, a key feature of Babylon's GP at Hand app, scored 81% when sitting the test for the first time, while the average pass mark over the past five years for doctors was 72%, according to the company. Andrew Goddard, an NHS doctor and president of the Royal College of Physicians, or the RCP, which represents 34,000 doctors across the globe and hosted the Babylon event, unveiling the findings. He told the audience that artificial intelligence was the future. How quickly we'll get there, I wait and see. Medicine needs to get engaged with it. This week sees Alibaba becoming the fourth biggest cloud provider ahead now of IBM. According to data from Synergy Research Group, the first quarter has seen the Chinese e-commerce and technology giant Alibaba surpass IBM to become the world's fourth largest infrastructure and services provider. The report reveals that Alibaba's revenue doubled for the quarter year over year, rising to 699 million US dollars, whilst the firm's total cloud revenue also increased 100% throughout 2017, up to a total of 2.14 billion US dollars. Alibaba ranks second in the APAC region behind Amazon Web Services, who is considered to have 40% market share. In order, we have AWS, Google and Microsoft remaining the world's biggest cloud providers ahead of Alibaba. I'm Brad Nelson. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook, Twitter and also Instagram. And you can check out our latest shows with David Linthicum in the podcast, which is in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.